What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to another episode of GBA. In this episode we are going to be unboxing the September 2019 Marvel Collector Core Box. So as I'm sure some of you already know, this is a collab box between Amazon and Funko. Uh, so usually you get a couple Funko Pops in this box. You can get t-shirts, um, shot glasses, you know, basically the typical stuff that you can see in some of these pop culture boxes. But the main reason why people get these boxes is typically because of the exclusive Funko Pops in them. And you can get some pretty good stuff from time to time. But yeah, as you can see, the theme for this box is the 80 years of Marvel. So I'm pretty stoked to see what's inside of this box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, cut the tape. But first, I just wanted to throw it out there that this box comes out once every two months. And it's about $30 shipped to your house. So not that bad at all, to be honest with you, for what you get in it. Um, so this box is every other month, and the other alternating months is the other Amazon and Funko collab box, the Smuggler's Bounty box, which is a Star Wars box. So if you're interested in that, look back through some of my videos because I unboxed one of those last month. But yeah, so let's cut the tape and see what we've got in our Marvel Collector Core. Alright guys, I'm going to open it away from me. Alright, so let's go ahead. It feels like we've got a t-shirt in this box. So we'll go ahead and pull that out and take a look at it. Um, once again, I think everything in this box is exclusive and that kind of includes the t-shirts as well. Oh wow, okay. I really like the pop tees, the Funko tees. I'm just going to throw that out there. But this is a cool one. So basically you've got uh, the Green Goblin. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. So I mean, you know, not an over the top design, pretty basic, but I do like it a whole lot. And like I said, I really, really like the designs on these Funko Pop shirts. So yeah, so you got the Green Goblin there. Alright guys, so moving right along. We've got a pen. I'm not particularly sure what this pen is of. If you guys know, please leave a comment down below and tell me what this is. But yeah, this is our enamel pen. Kind of looks like a skull with octopus legs or whatnot. But yeah, so that's our enamel pen. You know, not nothing too special, but it's pretty cool. It's only got one pen backer on it, which a pen of this size, you don't really need much more than that. I do kind of wish the packaging was a little bit better on these, but alas, what can you do? We've got our spoiler card. I'll put that to the side so we don't see it. I honestly think that all that's left in here is the Funko Pops, but I mean, that's the star of this box. So let's pull out the first one and see what we got. Well, actually we got a sticker, so I'll show that first. I mean, I guess it's a sticker. It's either a sticker or some kind of bookmark or something like that. This is pretty cool though. It's kind of looks like the cover of a, a comic book where it shows you what ep issue it is and how much it costs. So yeah, we've got that sticker right there. And our first Funko Pop is amazing. Oh my gosh. Super, super cool. We've got Loki. So I'm a huge fan of Loki, and it looks like it's uh, basically a pop based off of his first appearance in uh, 
Journey into Mystery number 85. So there's the back of the pop. Side view. Front again. And there's the top. But yeah, like I said, super stoked to get this. Um, like I said, it's it looks like it's based off of his first appearance in the comics. So yeah, definitely, definitely glad I got this. All right. So last but certainly not least, we've got another amazing Funko Pop. We actually have Thanos. And like uh, Loki, I think this is based off of his first appearance in the comics. Um, because if you look at the back, it's basically got the comic book right there. These pops came a little damaged, but they typically do in this box, to be honest with you. That's one of the drawbacks of this box, is sometimes the pops do come a bit damaged. But I'm not, like, that picky about box condition, to be honest with you. But yeah, that is a cool Thanos pop right there. Here's your side view. The back again. And your top view there. So yeah, these are super cool. And he looks so old school, I love it. I've got quite a few Thanos pops and this is honestly probably one of my favorite ones. All right, so to recap real quick, guys, before we end this video, we have the sticker, or bookmark, whatever you want to use it as. We have this enamel pin, and I'm not particularly sure what this is of. So once again, leave me a comment if you do. But I mean, it's still a cool pin. All right, so we've got the Green Goblin t-shirt. And then we have our two Funko Pops. Once again, we've got Thanos. And we've got Loki. So yeah, once again guys, for a $30 box, I feel like these two Funko Pops basically pay for the box. And a lot of times these Funko Pops end up being worth more than the box itself. So if you look at it that way, we got the enamel pin, the sticker, and the shirt for free. At least that's the way I look at it. But you can't beat the exclusive pops that you get in this box, so I highly recommend this, as well as the uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. So stay tuned, you're actually going to see me open up that one next month. But yeah guys, I think I'm going to end this video so I can go play some video games and just hang out. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good night. Until next time, guys, see you later.